I'm Rob Robillard from acarcadcarpenter.com and today we're going to be installing Warmly Yours roof snow and ice melting cables. These are the cables here they are used specifically for snow and ice melting products. We're going to be installing it in a problematic area on this house where there are ice dams and as a result there was some interior leaking and damage, water damage. So what we've decided to do is Below this deck is a basement um, entry area with full access to electrical panel and stuff like that. And there's also an entryway. This downspout here goes down to a dry well. What we're going to do is we're going to run our snow melt cables down through the downspout and into a, uh, and come out into an electrical weatherproof box mounted to the house under the deck so it's out of public view and that way we don't have any cables or conduit showing and we also don't have to fish and break through the walls on the inside. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start to fish our wires down through the cable, come out to an electrical box. I'll show you that later. And then we're going to start to lay our sawtooth pattern on the roof. Let's get started. Okay, we're up on the roof here and I'm just showing you how I installed. I came up through the downspout here, right here, with the gutter heat cable and I ran these aluminum clips with the special adhesive tape in the gutter and I did it about every eight feet and we're in all the way down and what we're going to do next is we're going to we're going to install the heat tape on the roof but I wanted to show you this right here I don't know if you can see this those marks those marks were made by a hammer claw in fact if you look closely right here the hammer claw fits perfect and some knucklehead was up here chipping ice on a slate roof to get rid of ice dams instead of doing it properly so what we're going to do now is we're going to install these copper, these copper straps underneath, underneath the slate roof. And what we, all these, all these slate shingles have nails up here. And uh, we're going to slide up and we're going to hook onto the nails with these slots that are on top of this. And that's how we're going to install our cable. Our cable will install in, in, these, in these clamps. I'm going to show you how to do that in one minute. Okay, now coming down the dormer we have these clips right here and then we, we go down and we start doing our zigzag pattern and then we run my, ourselves into the gutter. And we actually put some of these clips into the gutter, the copper gutter, just to, to keep everything secure. And then it follows down this drain pipe to the bottom of the deck where we have the external weatherproof uh, junction box where the power runs from. It runs all the way down the gutter and then up above on this dormer here you can see we've, we've got the tapes draping over the side. We use these eye hooks and I'll show you what I mean right here. We use these eye hooks to actually get the teep tape over the edge and hanging into the gutter here. This is on top of the dormer. It's actually these shingles. Uh, it's not shingles. It's actually like an asphalt uh, roll roof and it actually needs to be redone. It should be done in rubber. But for now we're going to make it through this winter with these heat tapes and probably end up putting rubber up here and then reapplying the heat tapes. But this zigzag pattern actually runs about four and a half, five feet up to the, to the slate all the way up past this vent pipe. And we, we originally were only going to go three feet and we decided to just do the whole slope and we'll just make up the difference. As far as overhanging, we decided to use a mechanical fastener as well. We used an eye hook just to catch it over the edge to create that drip edge. We just finished installing the Warmly Yours system on the roof. All the heat tapes are installed. It's all secured. The leads run down the, the downspout here, down below the deck, and we hid those wires below because that's where we're going to put our exterior weatherproof junction box. The electrician is coming tomorrow. He's going to power that box up. He's going to make the connections for the heat tapes to that junction box. And then we're going to install the aerial mounted snow sensor and the thermostat, which the two of them in tandem provide feedback to that controller we showed you telling the system when to turn on when to turn off. It's a smart system. It doesn't use a lot of electricity. It's only using the electricity during the event or when the melting occurs. In comparison, when you buy those uh, cheaper heat tapes that you just plug in and it's got a built-in thermostat, those things are on when the temperature gets low and they stay on. And as a result, so they subsequently burn out and they use a ton of energy. This system does not. It's only using the energy when needed. 
I was really impressed with it. It's a high quality system. The materials are high quality. The components are high quality. The service I got from Warmly Yours was great as well. The the uh, from start to finish, they helped me design this this system. I provided them photographs and drawings. They laid it all out for me. And because it's a slate roof, it's a problematic installation. They provided these copper clips which slide under the slate roof and attach to the slate nails and give you a, a mechanical connection, a secure connection to mount the tapes to. Really nice and like I said, attention to detail all the way. I would recommend this. I've, I've got some familiarity with the Warmly Your systems. I've installed a very similar system in a, in a sidewalk melt system, snow melt system. And it's the same components. We're just doing it on the roof now. The, the cable's different, but it's the same components. Highly recommend it. It's, it's a system that's going to last a long time. If you're just re-roofing and you have ice dam problems and you install it when you put your new roof on, it's going to outlast the roof. If you have a slate roof like this, and slate roofs are designed to last 100 plus years, this is the system you want. It's commercial grade. It's going to last. It's a smart system, and it doesn't waste electricity when not needed. I'm Rob Robillard. You're at ConcreteCarpenter.com, and we just installed a roof, ice, and snow melt system by Warmly Yours. Take care.